In this video, we will look at two examples of factoring a trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, the leading coefficient, is not one, and the only common factor among all three terms is one. For the first example, we have six p squared plus seven p minus 20. Remember, the first step in any factoring problem is to factor out the greatest common factor, but in this case, because the only common factor among all three terms is one, if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Let's set up the parentheses for two binomial factors. Step one is to place the factors of ax squared, or in our case, six p squared, into the first positions of the parentheses, or binomial factors. Well, the factors of six p squared could be three p and two p, or six p and p. So let's make a second set of parentheses. Let's use three p and two p for the first set, and let's use six p and p for the second set. Because we are using trial and error, we do not know which binomials will end up being the factors. And now for the next step, we need to place the factors of c, which in our case is negative 20, into the second positions of the binomial factors until we determine that the sum of the inner product and outer product here or here is equal to the middle term, which is positive seven p. Let's list the factors of negative 20. We have negative one times positive 20 or negative 20 times positive one, negative two times positive 10, and negative 10 times positive two, negative four times five, or negative five times positive four. We do have a lot of factors to try, but when placing these factors into these second positions, none of the binomial factors should have a common factor because if they did, there would have been a common factor other than one in the original trinomial. So let's say we begin with the factors of negative five and positive four. Because of the two here, we would not put a plus four here because if we did, we'd have a common factor of two in this binomial and we cannot have this if there wasn't a common factor of two in the original trinomial. So let's place the minus five with the two p, which leaves us with a plus four with the three p. And now looking at the second set of parentheses, because of the six p here, we would not put the plus four here because we'd have a common factor of two. So let's place the minus five here and the plus four here. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. For the first set of parentheses, the inner product is eight p, and then we have plus, the outer product is negative 15 p. Well, eight p plus negative 15 p is negative seven p. We want a sum of positive seven p, so because we have the right number but wrong sign, it's an easy fix, we simply just change the sign of these factors. But before we do this, let's go ahead and check the sum of the inner and outer products of the second set of parentheses. So for the second set, the inner product is negative five p, plus the outer product is 24 p, and negative five p plus 24 p is 19 p, which is not seven p, and therefore we know this factorization is not correct. But now going back to the first set of parentheses, again the sum of the inner and outer product is negative seven p, and we want positive seven p, so we just change the sign of the factors of negative 20, we change this to minus four and this to plus five. So let's go ahead and do that and check it again. Let's go ahead and erase this here. Notice now the inner product is negative eight p, plus the outer product is positive 15 p, which does give us a sum of positive seven p, which is the middle term. This is the correct factorization of the given trinomial. We can always check our factorization though, by determining the product, and let's go ahead and do that. We have the quantity three p minus four times the quantity two p plus five. We have four products, we distribute three p, and then negative four. So three p times two p is six p squared. Three p times five gives us plus 15 p. Negative four times two p gives us minus eight p and negative four times positive five gives us minus 20. And combining like terms, we do get six p squared 
plus 7p minus 20, which does verify our factors are correct. So let's take a look at our second example. Again, notice how the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The first step is to place the factors of 8x squared into the first positions, but again, the factors of 8x squared could be 4x times 2x or 8x times x. So let's use 4x and 2x here. Let's make another set of parentheses and use 8x and x. Now we place the factors of positive 27 into the second positions until we determine when the sum of the inner product and outer product is equal to negative 42x in the first set or the second set. But notice how because the sum of the products must be negative, we will be using the negative factors of positive 27. And let's go ahead and list them. We have negative one times negative 27 or negative three times negative nine. So we don't have a lot of factors to try. Let's try the factors of negative three and negative nine. Let's use the negative nine here giving us minus nine and the negative three here giving us minus three. And let's try the same for the second set. Minus nine here and minus three here. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products. In the first set of parentheses, the inner product is negative 18x plus the outer product is negative 12x. Notice the sum here is negative 30x, which is not negative 42x, so this factorization is not correct. Let's check the second one. For the second set, the inner product is negative 9x plus the outer product is negative 24x and negative 9x plus negative 24x is negative 33x, not negative 42x. Neither of these factorizations are correct. Let's try switching the positions of the negative nine and negative three. So we'll change this to minus three and this to minus nine and the same here. And now let's check the sum of the inner and outer products again. The inner product here is negative six x plus the outer product is negative 36x. And I think we found it, notice negative 6x plus negative 36x is negative 42x, the middle term, and therefore we can stop. This is the correct factorization of the given trinomial. So we can go ahead and erase these factors and everything else. This is the correct factorization. But again, let's go ahead and check it by determining the product. We have the quantity 4x minus three times the quantity 2x minus nine. Multiplying, we have four products, one, two, three, and four. Four x times two x is eight x squared. Four x times negative nine gives us minus 36 x. Negative three times two x gives us minus six x. And finally, negative three times negative nine gives us positive or plus 27. Combining like terms, we do have 8x squared minus 42x plus 27. Verifying, our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.